Baltimore's sympathies during the Civil War were split, as history tells it. So of four Civil War monuments in the city, three honor the Confederate cause. At City Hall today, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake moved forward with the process to take Robert E. Lee's name off a city owned park and said those monuments might be on the list too. You know, I think that's an important question, and I think it's a question not just for me, but for our community to come together and come up with solutions. The mayor's move follows the decision yesterday of Governor Larry Hogan to ask that Maryland license tags no longer be permitted to bear the Confederate flag. The campaign against public displays of the Confederacy gained a lot of steam when this photo of accused mass murderer Dylan Roof appeared publicly. Roof is the alleged gunman who killed nine African Americans in a Charleston church. The mayor says it is time to move past divisive symbols. I think it's important that we all take a look at our legacies of, of racism and uh, discrimination and look for ways for uh, the, our public buildings and our public places to reflect the not just that, I mean, not that history, but where we are moving forward. We're becoming like the, like the Taliban. But Elliot Cummings, an officer in the local Sons of Confederate Veterans chapter, says criticism of the Confederate flag is misplaced and a misguided attempt to hide history. They're going after monuments, they're going after parks, they're going after anything that has the Confederate name associated with it. With it. The battle flag is the flag of our soldiers, the flag of our great-great-grandfathers.